just wanted to personally say thanks, Chief Slowly, uh, for willing to be the MC of Recovery Day Ottawa this year. And uh, can you tell me what it was like to be asked that? And was it a surprising question? Um, you know, if it was five years ago, I might say surprising. But uh, coming back into policing, seeing how much uh, policing has matured around understanding mental health and addictions, not just in service to the community, but in terms of its own membership. Um, I was actually quite honored that one of the first things I did as the new chief of police was welcome you and one of my officers uh, as you're heading overseas for an international uh, event on this. And yeah, I'd love to play a role uh, going forward. It's going to be an important plank in what we build here in my tenure as chief of police, a, a better way to integrate our services to support people with mental health and addictions in the community and a much better way for, to support our own members who are dealing with the same issues. Yeah, and I think that's great news for us as a community and great news for Recovery Day Ottawa. So thanks for joining us today. Uh, today uh, we're going to be announcing the award to Wendy Muckle for perseverance and commitment for the well-being of people with substance use disorders. And I just wondered if you wanted to say a shout out to Wendy. Uh, Wendy, congratulations. Um, you know, we are blessed in this country, one of the safest countries in the world, and the nation's capital still one of the safest big cities anywhere in North America. And it's not because we have a great police service. We do have a great police service. But they are blessed, we are blessed, I am blessed, with great community partners, great community leaders, unsung heroes who don't wear a uniform, who every day demonstrate perseverance, commitment, passion, and compassion for people in need. Any society is judged not on how we treat our best, but how we treat our most marginalized, our most victimized, our most needy. Um, and you're a, a clear example of the true Canadian spirit, the true spirit of Ottawa, and the true spirit of what we want to bring to Ottawa as a, as a police service. So I'm honored to be able to wish you my personal congratulations and join in the well-deserved award that you've, you've received here today. Thanks very much, Chief Slow. We were thinking a little bit about the future, you know, uh, without having a clear lens, but I think part of that for ourselves will be this piece of engagement with Ottawa Police Services being welcomed in the building, being seen as allies and partners, and uh, perhaps sharing knowledge bases so uh, that we can learn more from yourselves and perhaps there's some training and stuff in the future. Absolutely. You know, the officers, uh, we do a lot of training. Some of it is, is things that just picked up along the way. I think we need to do more informed training. I think we need to do training that we're not training ourselves on, that we invite people like yourself, experts in the community, who have things that are proven to work decade in, decade out, um, and so we welcome a review of what we're doing and we welcome new training opportunities to develop more skills. Ultimately, we want to do less of this for two reasons. We want to reduce the impact of mental health addictions in our community and in our officers. And we'd like to ha have partnerships like the one we're developing now where we're figuring out how to train together, work together. You can take work from us that maybe we aren't best to do. And, and, and that's a transition that I think would be healthy for everybody. Absolutely. So we've got maybe a thousand people watching us today. Oh, now I'm intimidated. A thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this is the live broadcast that people watch on the laptop. I know we rolled up our banner the other try day and tried to get in the laptop so we could go live. Uh, we're here at Ottawa Police Station with Chief Slowly making a difference here in Ottawa, but I think that we're starting to make a template for Canada. And Chief, I just want to say thanks for being a big part of it. Thank you. Thank you for your leadership, and your, your passion, your drive. This is how things get done in a big city. We can walk by each other. We're strangers. We don't really care about each other. We can step over each other. We can step around these issues and go on with our busy, busy lives. It takes people like yourself and your team to really care, do something about it, make the effort to engage people like me, get our focus, get our attention, get our commitment. And I'm honored to be part of this. Thank you very much. Okay, and we're six feet apart. There you go. All right. Oh, I have to tell you. Hmm. Turns out Chief Slowly is a human being <laughs> and uh, has a family. <laughs> Who knew, eh, about News police flash. services? <laughs> News flash, eh? And so this is really what Recovery Day is all about, is, is engaging with our humanity and our care and our compassion. And, and so we just want to have a quick shot of uh, something that's in Chief Slowly's office that people may not anticipate and just speaks about the humanity of all of us, so if we could just take a shot of that. Quick context, my, my five-year-old son came in here and did a mural on my whiteboard while, while dad was busy at work on, on a weekend. And uh, I've kept it up because I just think it's a wonderful piece of art. I think he's just a wonderful little guy. And so if it makes you smile because it makes me smile every day, then that's just a good thing too.